But what's that? What's that? Why? What? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another Italian reacts to Italian food. Today we have a super guest star, Gordon Ramsay. I mean, English people are not known for their great cooking skills, but I mean, it's Gordon Ramsay, you guys. He's a great chef and everything, but I wanted to test him because I saw a video that said Italian recipes by Gordon Ramsay. It doesn't say Italian inspired or anything. It just says Italian recipes. And that's why I'm going to be very judgmental because yeah, it's our job. Italians in the world, we are very, very proud of our culture. So, you know, it's, it's just fun to see people from other parts of the world cook our stuff because you make things up a lot. A lot but let's get straight into it i hope gordon ramsay won't see this video he probably won't and obviously don't get offended this is just for fun and let's go straight into it his house is real pretty like real cute and his kids look just like him like exactly like him a country that takes home cooking family and fresh vibrant flavors extremely seriously we do take it seriously first up in my ultimate italian food a deliciously tasty breakfast of fennel sausage frittata. Frittata? For breakfast? I already see so many mistakes. So many, you guys. I'm not joking. Rounding off with a Tuscan inspired dessert, luxurious espresso panna cotta with That's cinnamon good. hazelnut. Fennel sausage frittata? We don't. First of all, we don't eat frittata at breakfast. Never. Never. And with sausage? No. We eat a croissant <laughs> and cappuccino or just some sweets and coffee and what? Why would you do something like that? We don't even do that at lunch because we don't, I, I, at least not that I ever seen it, we never put sausage in the frittata. I, I've never seen that. Flat leaf parsley, a staple in Italian cooking. Chop it. Yeah, but we, we don't put parsley in everything. We use it, but we don't put it in everything. That's what you people think? No. It's a strong flavor, you don't put it in everything. Uh, with a ton of onions, like you, uh, you can't even imagine how much onion that is. Mozzarella. Oh my God, no. No, we never, no. I've never seen anything like this. In the oven. A red hot grill. To achieve the best results, always ensure. No. No, you don't put the frittata in the oven. Because it's not supposed to look like that. This looks like a, just mashed everything. I don't know, this is not a frittata, you guys. No, don't do it like that. It's not. Oh my god, it's like this. I can imagine it smells incredible, but it's not the way you do it. Oh my god. It's like onions, sausage, eggs, mozzarella, parmesan. It's a... Let's go straight to the next one. Italian food puts a premium on fantastic ingredients cooked simply. Here's a bit of I love that he speaks like he knows Italian culture so well and he goes to Italy like every summer. Doesn't look like. <laughs> Doesn't look like. Oh my god, bunch of beef. It's so disgusting. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can watch. Oh. Burrata. Yeah, that's one of the best things that we ever invented. Burrata. If you've never tasted it, yeah. That's kind of the best thing ever to put on a pizza. After it's cooked, you put it on the pizza and it's like, unfortunately that's heaven. Yeah. He's very poetic in his descriptions. Like, yeah, I appreciate it, but 
Let's go straight to it. That's not Ordo. That's, that's not... What? Okay, this kind of pasta is called risoni in, uh, in Italy and it's something that we do with broth, um, not in a salad like that. We use like pasta in salads, like a cold salad, but that's not the pasta that we would use ever. I don't know where you got it from, like truly. What? Parmesan with lemon? In that pasta, never seen it in my entire life, and I'm sure of that. Okay, I think there's a part two, but it's not on his YouTube channel. I don't know what it is, but I found another one that says like pasta bolognese. I guess he means that I go, and I'm very curious about it. And we're gonna watch this one now. Mushrooms? Maybe it's his version of the pasta, but don't call it bolognese. Leeks? No, you use onions. Ew. Chicken stock. Lasagna. So I guess he's doing a lasagna with ragu, because bolognese, that's the only thing they can mean. He's feeling the lasagna sheet, like. What? He put the sheet of pasta in the pan with the whole thing. Pasta and Bolognese recipes. I'm, I'm rereading the title because I don't understand what he's doing and I'm not being dramatic or anything, I just don't understand. But what's that? What's that? Why? What? He used the lasagna sheet as pasta, as normal pasta. Just like that. Farfalle, ricotta, pancetta and peas. I mean... It could happen. It could happen. I can't confirm that. Don't put garlic like that. Poor farfallas. I already know they're going to end up badly. Real bad. What? He put the peas in the boiling pasta. Never seen it. Never seen it. I just like, I'm wondering this is not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's not the worst. I just don't get why would you put the peas in the boiling water? I, you can put it in the pan, it's much better. Tagliatelle with quick sausage meat bolognese. Tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Okay. Tagliatelle, I like it. Olive oil, ton of onion. Okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sausage? No, 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 no. You don't use the meat from the sausages to make a ragu. You use minced meat. Cherry tomatoes? No, 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 no. You put a bit of tomato sauce, not the cherry tomatoes. That's not, that's no, 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 <laughs> no. That's not even cooked, the sauce. The, no, it doesn't. Sausage and bolognese in Zaragu don't go together. They don't exist. Okay, let's see the next chili, spaghetti that is making. You can make it into something good, let's see. We don't use those kind of sardines. We use the other ones, the ones that are much smaller. If we have to use those, the big ones, we just go to the fish market <laughs> and we get fresh one. We don't get the ones in olive oil. Ready in under 15 minutes, spaghetti with chili, sardines and oregano. Healthy party. He's saying it to himself, beautiful. <laughs> I mean, right, so now he started to cook some chicken doesn't say Italian, so I'm not gonna comment on that. Um, th definitely not my thing. I will look for more of these like super chefs recipes. Um, I like it a lot. And I think it's even more fun because they are supposed to like to know everything, you know, about the culture and everything, especially Italian food, because that's, let's be honest, the most popular one. Um, yeah, 
pretty much. I'm sorry, you guys, but it's true. <laughs> Speaking of food, it's lunchtime, so I have to go and cook for myself. I have some really great chime di rapa in the making with pasta. So good. I hope you enjoyed the video. I send you guys so much love, and I'm gonna see you the next time.